globes and maps. Hello, my name is Andrew and today I'm going to teach you about globes and maps. As we all know that our earth is round like a ball. It rotates on its axis. There is an imaginary line which passes through the center of the earth. The two ends of the axis are the north pole and the south pole. The earth rotates from the west to the east. It completes one rotation in 24 hours. The earth is divided into two hemispheres, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere or the eastern hemisphere and the western hemisphere. These globes can be used to represent the earth, but they cannot be carried for traveling. Hence, a paper version of the globe is used which is nothing but a map. A map is a diagrammatic representation of an area of land or sea. Specific things on the map are represented using special symbols. For example, the state capital is shown as a circled dot, while a sea route or international boundary like this. Each map has a scale which is the ratio of the distance on the map and ground. See here, 1 centimeter is equivalent to 50 kilometers. Can you calculate the distance between X and Y? By measuring with scale, we found the distance to be 3 centimeters. Therefore, the actual distance is 50 into 3 is equal to 150 kilometers. Maps are drawn on sheets of paper and help in finding a location of different places. As we know, there are four cardinal directions, north, east, south and west. They help in locating places. Let me show you an interesting thing. This is a magnetic compass. It has a magnetic needle that points always in the north direction. Earlier mariners used to find the directions using magnetic compass.